Do you have the lens open? Or is it black? It's black. Oh, here, right in front. Oh. That That's why a picture wasn't coming through. <laughs> Okay, the old uh, ducks cart here. Um, anyway, there was uh, another little uh, thing we added to this guy here. Um, this little flag holder here. So, uh, so if you're out in the dunes or whatever, <laughs> you can uh, go ahead and put your flag in. Uh, we're going to probably try and find a uh, Oregon ducks flag to actually put on this guy when we get when we uh, put it up for sale. Anyway. Um, just a little added, uh, added, uh, bling. Bling. It's all about <laughs> bling. Anyway, uh, I think it's a pretty good looking cart. And uh, hopefully uh, someone wants it. Well, just for the sake of it, uh, we were going to try and do an actual uh, cold start on this new little peg leg there um, without using ether. We'll see how that goes. I think I might have figured out the secret on this, but I don't know. Last time I ran it, however, I did shut the petcock and just run that carb out of gas, so it may or may not uh, fly here without ether. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, I'll let camera, camera guy Oregon 302, Oregon guy 302, uh, play with the camera a little bit, and I'll find the right tools for the job. Let's see, I had a little bitty. Uh, what the fuck did I use? I don't remember what I used. Okay, so I need something to hold the choke open and something to hold the throttle. I found that if I open the throttle a little bit, that this thing has a better chance of starting. And uh, I haven't built a mechanism yet to do that. I remember how I did it the other night. I'm put this thing in there. So if I hold the throttle open just a little bit, Maybe. Maybe I can't. There we go. No, I didn't do it either. Try it this way. Got to build a little contraption to hold that throttle and be able to run the choke at the same time. So I got the throttle open. Now I'll use my uh, fix the uh, parking brake handle tool here to uh, choke this thing, stick it in there and give it a couple pulls, we're in the on position, and just see if I can get it to do anything. That sounded promising. Oop, I want to keep it backwards, don't I? I forgot about that. Okay. I don't want to push it forward. <laughs> okay, well, it's we'll, a grab bar, darn it. <laughs> we'll try this again. That's fucking funnier than shit. Okay. <laughs> oh, yet another failure. <laughs> okay. Well, now, do I need to choke it this time? I wonder. Yeah, it appears so. So, we've learned is we don't need that much throttle probably to start. How did I manage to bump that off? It just vibrated itself forward. Is that what happened? Yeah, it's like we need a wheel chock in the front. Well, we don't need to give it that much throttle probably. <laughs> so I got to figure out a better way to do it than to shove this thing clear to hell and gone in here. Here we go, I'll get a tiny screwdriver this time. 
Let's see if we can do it with a little less throttle. That didn't look promising. There we go. Okay, a little less throttle this time. Oh, we're in the off position. to have throttle while we have choke. That's what's been learned. You all right? Yeah. No blood. Well, 2nd of December out here at the uh, Beetle Barn anyway, you can see uh, it's wet. And uh, for the sake of it, we should probably wrap this cart thing up. Uh, last week did the kickstand deal and uh, epic failure which uh, you probably just watched anyway we've made a few fixes before the uh, stand didn't go up over center far enough and the centrifugal force the engine and the tire rolling around there at any throttle pretty much just pulled it forward and off the stand and uh, away it went and then uh, we were having trouble trying to get this thing to start without ether and I think we've kind of figured that problem out now. We uh, uh, get in there. We've added a uh, choke here, full choke. And then uh, you need to crack this throttle a little bit. And uh, all I've got for that is this little zip tie here on a wire hanging here. Uh, couldn't figure out how else to do this. Anyway, you can. Uh, advance the uh, throttle and the end of this uh, zip tie here if I can do this one handed just happens to be the right amount to stick in there on the uh, idle adjustment screw to uh, keep it where we want it to start it and we've been fairly successful now on a cold start um, starting it without ether and I guess uh, we'll put it up on the stand there and give this a shot Okay, so we got the, the stand, which now goes over center forward farther, and in fact, you can't knock it off the stand now, uh, so we won't have that runaway problem anymore. Then we've got my little zip tie thing here, which I used to advance the throttle. Go ahead and uh, tuck it in, go for full throw. Full choke, make sure the switch is on. And we added another kill switch over here as well. And uh, see if we can give it a pull. See if we can get it to start. Maybe. Oh, that went the wrong way on the choke. <laughs> Start here. Go. So anyway, uh, 
Ducks, Ducks, 